stop right before you download Windows 11's newest update and it feels like your games had suddenly fell off of its performance, your PC is starting to act kind of weird, especially when shutdown, you're not the only one. This January's update, KB507, 4109 is a massive security patch with a 114 vulnerability security fix and three days. But it also has brought some really ugly side effects. And yes, there are reports of FPS drops, especially on Nvidia cards. Let me break down on what's confirmed and what we really need to truly find out and exactly what I would do with my gaming PC rig versus a workstation. What's up fam bam, it's Chris Muzo here. Today we're talking about Windows KB5074-5109 for 24H2 and 25H2, released of January 13th, 2026. This is really supposed to help with the security settings. Thanks Microsoft for using AI once more for doing the backend coding, but it's also a stability roulette. Updating really depends on the type of setup that you currently have with your PC. Here is the quick answer. If you do security sensitive work, this patch certainly does matter. If it's specifically meant for gaming or even production and everything was just perfect yesterday, you might really want to be careful or at least know how to roll it back. What does the KB507 4109 actually do. First off, Microsoft wants everybody to update their Windows 11. It's no secret, and you probably get the prompts. It, it patches the 114 vulnerabilities, including three zero days. That's the kind of patch where skipping it for a full month is not the smartest move. From a security standpoint, this is not just a tiny update. It's honestly one of their larger ones. Now, the ugly truth, some may be experiencing the classic Outlook pop is freezing once again. It seems like it always freezes. If you're still using the classic Outlook with the pop account, people are obviously seeing some hangups and freezing. And it's not truly a once in a while issue. It seems to be happening quite often. More like my email client is cooked. Some users are connecting to their Azure virtual desktop or Windows 365 are getting hit with credential issues. Microsoft's workaround issue, that, I'm not kidding when they said this, Use a different virtual desktop for now. <laughs> now, there's also this weirdness when it comes to File Explorer, especially when it comes to custom folder names. There are reports that the File Explorer can change custom folder names, especially if you're using one with desktop.ini in custom naming. If you are certainly picky about your folder organization, this one is going to be a bit irritating. Now let's get into the one where everybody certainly cares about. There are credible community reports of FPS dropping and performance regressions after installing this update. Some people describe it as a noticeable stutter or micro stutter, reduced averaged FPS, or generally it just feels really bad. This doesn't feel like I'm gaming on a RTX 5080. As of now, Microsoft has acknowledged the issue and confirm it officially. Same thing that goes with Outlook and AVD. But if you do have this update and you do have a NVIDIA GPU, you can expect a lower average FPS. You'll have the worst 1% lows and even more stutter and even the wonderful micro stutter. You might even experience black screen flickers or brief display drops under load. And then you get that random instability where it almost feels like you're due for an update. So here's what I think is honestly happening. Most likely a interaction with the Windows patch and the GPU driver stack or a certain scheduling change, which is pretty common with Windows that hits certain setups harder. That is why some people are getting hit and some are running perfectly fine. Now, here's what I would do now. If your PC is meant for gaming, test it properly. Run the same game, same scene, and at the same settings. Make sure you look for the average 1% lows. If performance has clearly regressed and it starts right up after the update, roll it back. In order to do that, you just go to Windows Updates, go to your Windows, go to Settings, go to Windows Updates, Window Update History, then Uninstall Updates, 
and make sure to remove that KB5074109. Pause updates for a bit after rollback so it doesn't reinstall automatically. Watch for NVIDIA's drivers updates and Windows cumulative updates. News is that there is a second step to take where you can get KB5077744 where we can patch the failure of remote desktop connections. And there's also another one, KB5077797, this is specifically for 23H2 and patches the bug where the PC does not shut down properly. But yet, we haven't heard anything about frames. In order to make sure to download the proper system, you want to go to System, and then you want to go down to About. Once you get down to About, you want to scroll down, and you want to see what version of Windows you have. For example, I have 25H2. Then you're going to go to Microsoft's Update Catalog, which is down in the description box down below if you need it. Now, as we do know that this is going to be an X64 system, since this is an AMD system, or if you have an Intel system, more than likely you will go X64 as well, you want to download this version. Now, the other versions will be based on ARM64, or if you have a ARM64 system, and they also have a 24H2 for X64 systems. So make sure to download the proper update from the catalog. You're gonna hit download and you're gonna click it in order for it to download into your system. And that will download the file right here and you can easily install the update. Now, if your PC is for work for security matters, you should lean towards when staying patched and using some workarounds until the bug is fixed. For example, if your Outlook pop is freezing, consider moving Alpha pop or using a different mail workflow or uninstall it if you must. Now for Azure's desktop, if the patch is not working properly, as per Microsoft, you can always use an alternative to Azure desktop. I know, right? Pretty crazy. And if the shutdown's not working properly, even with this new patch, make sure to put this command line in. I might as well just go on full on Linux now, right? If your system relies on system guard secure launch, keep an eye on that configuration. It seems that where most of the issues certainly do show up. Now, here's the truth, whether if you should install it or just completely skip this update. Security wise, KB5074109, when it comes to stability, well, it's not going to be the best and definitely not recommended to stay on, especially if you're trying to enjoy your games. And I recommend just holding off because it was perfectly fine before then so for anybody that has gaming rigs make sure to test first and do not be afraid to uninstall if your performance just goes downhill now for you work station monsters out there stay secure until the bug is completely not making your work available what are your thoughts of kb5074109 are you running into issues Man, it feels like deja vu. It wasn't that long ago. Fam, fam, guys, thanks again so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.